Hello. Title of this video is COVID-19 Lean Into the Fear. And I'm going to lay out five steps, five things you can do to lean into the fear. What exactly does that mean? And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you the number one thing you just got to do in the face of fear. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater coming to you with this weekly video. Uh, what a crazy week, huh? Every, every single day something new is happening with this uh, illness that is sweeping the world. I am sheltered in place here in Roseville, California. I go out in the morning and take a walk. I go out in the afternoon and grab some coffee and some food. Other than that, I'm washing my hands a lot and uh, staying healthy, staying uh, eating good clean food, getting my sleep, and staying away from sugar. How are you doing? How are you doing out there? Okay, let's jump into this topic of, number, of fear. Number one, the idea of being fearless is a myth. A lot of people I talk to think that um, there's something wrong with them because they're afraid all the time. And what I say is, yes, that is good. That means you're alive. That means you're pushing yourself to your edge. And that's where you feel the most alive. And that's where you're going to get into the flow. The idea that some people are fearless or that there's a state of being called fearless is BS. Okay, it's a myth. Everybody I know, the top, most, the highest achieving people I know, the most mystical, the most, um, you know, awakened experience fear, right? It's just a normal human thing. It kind of tells you you're alive. Uh, a friend of mine said, fear says, oh, something important is about to happen here. I better pay attention. So don't feel bad that you feel fear. Feel good about it. Number two is acknowledge the fear, right? So you feel it. You're not going to resist it. You're not going to say, oh, something's wrong with me. What is it that you are afraid of? It's really good to get some clarity on that because then you can do something about it. So acknowledge the fear, step number two. So what does that look like? Uh, for me, for example, I make a lot of... Um, what are called strategy sessions with my uh, prospects. And I always have a fear of, um, am I going to talk to somebody and not do a good enough job so that they pass on the opportunity, right? So I have this fear of failing almost every time I pick up the phone to talk to a prospect. But I can't let that stop me. In fact, that makes me work harder to be better at it, right? But I acknowledge the fear, the fear of failing um, which then triggers the fear of lost revenue because I spent a lot of money on Facebook ads to get these prospects. So, you know, g getting to know your own internal dialogue can be very, very beneficial. So acknowledge the fear. Number three is you got to get really clear, get really clear on what you want, right? So the best way to combat fear is to have a clear vision of what you want to get um, out of your life. Where do you want to get to? Right? So in my case, as I've stated over and over again, um, traveling and working, traveling and working. The idea of being on an, on an island or being in a different country and waking up and doing some work through my laptop and then going out and seeing what's going on in this particular country with this particular people and the food that I can eat, that is my passion. That is my vision. And when I get afraid, I think about that. And that's like this fuel that I can use to propel me through the fear, all right? So you want to take some time to get really clear on what is your vision for your own life. Number four is use that vision to lean into your fear. So let's again take the example of me um, getting on these um, sales calls. So I'm doing these strategy session calls and I've got a fear that mm, I might fail at it, I might not do as good a job and I might lose some prospects. They might not become clients of mine. Well, then I go to, well, what are my options? I could not do the strategy calls, but then my vision is to be doing this work and traveling. So it doesn't make any sense. I need to keep working to make the money that I want to make at the level that I want to make so that I can have the lifestyle that I want to make. So my vision kind of overrides the fear and propels me into the final step of the process. So step number five, if you couldn't have guessed by now, is action, right? Nothing happens without action. You just got to take the action. In my case, um, tomorrow I've got 
three people to talk to and I'm just going to keep talking to prospects. And each time I do, I get better. The, the, the idea of not taking action for me at this point is so anathema, so uh, unctuous, so toxic that I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't live with myself. But a lot of people do. They will uh, back away, they will stay comfortable, and they will not take action. And then you start building regrets and it's just not good. So taking action is ultimately what allows you to lean into the fear and then experience whatever it is that you really were afraid of and go, oh, okay, not as bad as I thought. I can work with this. And then you keep pushing, right? You keep pushing because you keep wanting to move towards your goals. And then you got another fear and you're gonna walk right, th right through that one just the same and go, oh, not as bad as I thought. Okay, let's keep going. And, uh, and on and on and on. It goes for a lifetime. So I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Uh, we are all experiencing a lot of fear uh, throughout this. A lot of people aren't able to work. There's the fear of not having any money. Uh, the stimulus package just got passed. So for a lot of people, that was some really good news and a bit of a lifeline. So uh, go out and make it a great day. This is Jay Crater. If you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, uh, go for it. Go ahead and subscribe. I bring you a, a video every single week uh, on a different topic, and I'd love to have you as part of my team. You'll go ahead and have a great day. Be safe out there. Bye for now.